Greetings, Greg here again with another video to help you transform your business, help you transform your life. This one in particular is a very powerful video for people who want to integrate ChatGPT into Odoo. And if you don't know that you would want to do that, then you probably should spend a little bit of time just seeing uh, how ChatGPT works and the kind of power that it's going to bring uh, to applications like Odoo once it's integrated. So just for a few examples, you might want to use a chat uh, GPT API to create uh, newsletters that you could send out to your customers, or maybe you want to use it to send out uh, product information based upon uh, what they searched when they were going and, and browsing for products, or maybe you'd like to use it uh, to generate blog posts. There's so many things of where integrating chat GPT into Odoo is going to prove very, very valuable as opposed to having chat GPT just sitting off and you having to copy and paste data into Odoo. And that's what we're going to be looking at is how to set that up. So please click like, please click subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below of the kind of things you might think of how to integrate chat GPT into Odoo and some of the power behind that. Now to get started, um, I'm actually going to use chat GPT because chat GPT can actually write the code for us to create this API. And so I'm going to be explaining how we can use these prompts and it's important to learn how to write them. And that's why I'm including this on how I, how I uh, got the right results. So I told it I wanted to create a model to access chat GPT from Odoo. We will be creating a web controller. So I, I wanted to make sure that it knew we were using uh, that kind of framework and that we will take an HTTP GET request. So I'm being very specific about how I want to get the data. And then I say, and then call into ChatGPT completions API, because they have a lot of different APIs for different things. And I want to make sure they're going to give us the code for the right API, the right URL, and then return the results back, write the basic web controller. And essentially, this is the code. Now, you're going to need to be able to create a module in Odoo. There's plenty of videos on that. That's not what this is on. We don't want this to be a long video on how to get there. But once you've created your module, then all you need to do is come into it here. And um, this one I named chat GPT underscore API. You can uh, just use the scaffold command to create this. Once it's created, you just come in here and go to the controllers.py that's located in the controllers folder and paste the code in. Now I pasted that code in and um, I'm going to show you a few little tricks. It's just not going to work until you set up your API key, your secret API key. So you'll notice that it says that here in our uh, chat GPT. It doesn't just give us the code here, but um, one of the things in it is it says your API key right here. And if you'll scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that it gives you instructions here on how to integrate this code and how to use it a little bit um, and some of the things. Now, you're going to want to go to openai.com and log in, you know, create an account if you don't have one. But once you've logged in and you've created your account, you just come up here, come down to view API keys, and you can create as many keys as you need. This is the one that I just used today. You can't see it all, but it's inside the code. I'll have to delete it once I post this video. But you create your secret key. That's all you have to do. And then you can just come right into your code here and paste that right in here. Now, after that, one of the things that's really helpful is you'll see that there's this playground. And if you click on playground, it gives you this empty thing. I'm going to just type in, uh, why is Odoo the best open source uh, platform? I'll just keep it like that. I'll hit submit. And it's going to then go to their API and use the API to write out this. And so this is not ChatGPT. It says like here, if you're looking for ChatGPT, you'd go here. ChatGPT is much more sophisticated. Um, we're just using the OpenAI API right now. And you'll notice that there's all these different models you can choose from that will return things back. So they have ones that are specific for coding, and then they have ones that are specific uh, you know, for text and, and different ones that have different costs in terms of tokens. So the other one major thing that you're going to want to mess with probably is this is how much will come back to you. So notice if I set this really, really low and, and um, 
get rid of this. So I'll submit it again. We're not going to get back very much because the token count is low here. But that's how that's important for you when you're creating the API for users and for business systems and things like that to get that token count because you will at some point probably have to pay to use this API uh, for commercial purposes and for business. It's just how that is. Now, I'm pointing this out largely because getting the right parameters is what's important to make the API work. And you can come up here to the view code, and then it'll give you the exact parameters here uh, that, that's required. Now, they gave it a little bit different format because this is just setting variables and passing them into a, a complete completion uh, like it, it's it, there is actually in this case, they're not really showing a full uh, remote API. They're actually importing uh, libraries that you would install locally on the server. So you can actually install local libraries to make the API a little more sophisticated. But you don't have to do that. You can just pass these parameters on. So I'll take these kinds of parameters. And what you're going to want to do is use those to configure here exactly what you want to pass on. So the only thing we really provide is the prompt. I did add a little bit of code in here to print it out just so that I could see that that part of it was working. Um, and then I changed these to what I wanted. And that's all there is to it. So now, um, so here we can test it out. And you can see I typed in, why is Odoo the best enterprise software? And we got this result. We could say, uh, Give me an outline on how to bake a cake, and it'll do that as well. So you, you've got pretty much access to the entire, you know, powerful chat GPT engine is all there, but it's going to basically have to do some, some things to tweak your API. Now, one of the powerful things is you can construct prompts, so you could use programmatically create your prompts and you'll notice here create oven prepare the pan but you'll notice there's no formatting here and that's a, a distinction also with chat gpt it's doing some formatting and you would need to account for that um, that's not the scope of this video it's to show you how to create this api now this kind of concludes the construction part of this what i would say is if you're really serious about odoo uh, you're an odoo integrator partner a consultant, or you're a company trying to integrate Odoo, please take the time to check out my courses on odooclass.com and odooinnercircle.com. I got links below because I'm going to be running uh, courses and creating courses that are a lot more sophisticated than what I'm doing here on, on YouTube. And I also provide weekly workshops and, and even one-on-one -on -one consultation that can help you get Odoo integrated into your business. And so with that, we're going to wrap this up. Please click like, please click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.